What's happening YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be making a beat for Young Thug's new album called So Much Fun. Before we get started, go follow me on Instagram and Twitter at going viral. Subscribe and click the bell so you get notified when I post a new video. And let's get into it. So here we are in FL Studio and I've already pre-selected some sounds just to save us some time. This is what the first uh, keypad sounds like. And then another sound. So we'll first start with the keys, and uh, I'm thinking just a simple melody. So let's see what we can do. And so this is the final pattern that I came up with. And then for the next instrument, I'm just thinking to add something just to fill in the background because the first chords are kind of like uh, empty. Let's see. I'm just going to turn this up a little. Um, and this is the pattern that I'm feeling. So let's just fill that in. And then I'm just going to copy and paste that for the rest of the measure. Alright, so I put both of these in the mixer, and let me show you guys what I did with some of the effects to make the melodies way more fire. So first up, I EQ'd out some of the low end of the main melody, and uh, put some stereo enhancing, and the main effect is uh, half time, which is basically a gross beat, and I put it on the half uh, note setting, uh, because that is still like, uh, you can still hear the original melody, it doesn't really distort it that much. And I also made sure some of the high end is remaining over here. So, and then for the next element, the keys, I did the same, EQ'd out the low end, uh, and then added some RC20 retro uh, to give it that wobble like pitch effect, and also added some stereo separation to give it more depth. And then also put the halftime on pretty much the same setting. What I'm gonna do with these halftimes is I'm gonna automate them so it only comes in at certain times. All right, so now that we got our melodies, let's go ahead and start on the drums. This is what both melodies sound like with halftime and all the other effects. And this is what both melodies sound like with halftime and all the effects applied. Alright, now let's go ahead and uh, start on the drums. So I'm gonna make a new pattern over here, and um, we're gonna probably start with the clap just to give it the initial uh, rhythm. And uh, I'm gonna put it on every third beat. And then next I'll put in the hi-hats uh, because in a lot of these uh, wheezy beats, um, the hi-hats are really just like the more rhythmic element of the percussion. So, so uh, I just have a simple hi-hat pattern, but we're gonna what we're gonna do is add rolls and take it out in certain spaces to give it more bounce because that's what the wave is right now. You don't want it to be just like boring. All right, so this is the hi pattern that I came up with. And then next up, let's uh, just go ahead and add the 808. And for the 808, uh, let's make sure we have the box. We do. Uh, and for the 808, um, our melody follows uh, F minor chord, so our um, 808 note is gonna be F. I'm also going to take it an octave up so I can hear it. And here's the 
here's the 808 pattern that I came up with. Not too complicated, but also it really adds the bounce that the, this kind of beat needs. And then for the next um, element, I'm going to put in the percussion, like a perk. And uh, it's basically just like a metro perk. And uh, I'm not going to go too crazy with this, but I'm going to fill in basically all the blank spaces in between the hi-hats and uh, to emphasize the clap. Next, uh, we have an open hat, and for the open hat, um, I make sure to have the box just because I don't want it to decay when the note ends. So let's put that down. And I also want it to be like a little lower. So. And this is what the open hat pattern is. And then lastly, let's put in the kick. And for the kick, I like to not really copy the 808 pattern, but just put it in certain places to emphasize the 808 and also add like an extra bounce. Um. And this is the final kick pattern. All right, now I've uh, split all the drums by channel, and let's uh, organize the beat. So I'm gonna have like an intro over here, so I don't want any of the drums. And then um, for the hook, maybe the intro can be like a little shorter. Um, and then, for the, and then for the hook, I'm gonna make it twice as long, and then um, copy all the drums. So we take the kick out in the first section, and then so when it comes in, it's like extra bouncy. Um, all right, so this is the final arrangement that I came up with, and uh, I automated the halftime to only come in when the uh, beat drops, so in the intro, it's just regular, and uh, yeah, I'll play it for you guys right now. <laughs> 